Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a morph system in Roblox Studio. This system is very different than other morph systems, and you'll see later in the video why it's so unique and cool. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First thing, what you want to do is go to Workspace and add a model. And then you can name this model whatever you want. I'm just name it Morph Model. It really doesn't matter in the scripts ahead of you. And in that model, you want to put the... um person or thing you want to morph into make sure it has a humanoid root part you could put a character from low character i'm gonna just put this tung tung npc from the toolbox it's really up to you though so um i'm just gonna put this right here and um and this npc i think has a chase script so i'm just remove that you probably don't want to worry about that though um i'm gonna make sure it doesn't have the viewer tag and um I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the morph model and for the script later so it's easier to type in i'm gonna it had a really long name right there so i'm gonna just name it tung and for this purpose i'm gonna just make it times three because i want it to be pretty big and then in the morph model you want to put a part and this part will be the part where you step on and that part will trigger you to morph into this tung character but that's not even the coolest part and you'll wait to see that later about this morph system So now that I resize the parts of my fitting, I'm going ahead and change the color to yellow. Make sure it's new yellow, new yellow, and make sure the material is neon. You can make it green, but you might have to adjust something in the script. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll see. But um, basically, yellow is just to show you that you can morph. And um, later in the video, I'll show you what red means. Um, but yeah, that will be later in the video. So what you want to do now is name this part um it really doesn't matter again i would just name it morph part and you want to add a script inside morph part and go to the description below and copy and paste the script in the description once you've copied and pasted the script you might have to change well you will have to change some things in the script according to your player so um my model my guy right here that we morph into is named tung so we have to go ahead and copy and paste or just type it out i'm just being lazy right now tung into the second line in the character name right here and then this is where the best part of the system comes in so instead of you morphing back to the spawn point when you touch this pad this system allows you to morph to a part like if you want to make a maze in your map or a wall in your map or something you want the character or player to morph to instead of just the spawn point this is where this line comes in so you want to go to your workspace insert insert a part and then you want to name that part whatever you want i would name it something like morph tele teleport part but that's a bit um, much it's really up to you and um i'm gonna just put it all the way over here to show you that actually works really well i'm just made this more teleport part uh just kind of slang words and then um you want to copy and paste or just type out that name into um this part of the script right here the sixth line the part to teleport to you want to put that name exactly for that and yeah this is where the really red comes in that's just a cooldown uh when someone morphs it turns red for like a second the plate and no one can morph for a second and then after it just turns yellow it's really not a big deal honestly but um down here just shows to make sure there's a human humanoid root part inside your uh character and yeah after that you're really good to go to start morphing and i'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works inside the game so i'm in the game right now you could see my I think you could see my part no you probably can't my part is all the way over there you probably can't see it but once i hit this platform i will morph into that part you see now i'm on top of that part right here and um that just shows it's actually a really cool system because imagine this is like in the middle of the maze like an a maze in your game you want the monster to spawn there or something it's really up to you but this is just a really cool part of the system i'm gonna bring that part back over here just to um show you uh the way that the platform turns red for like a second to show you the cooldown so i'm gonna go ahead and put that right here right next to it so i can easily see it so when i morph of course i go to this part and you see it turns red for a second and then it turns back and you can morph again and that just allows players not to break it and for this part you can change anything like transparency uh can't collide off and yeah that's 
that's honestly it for this system i hope you enjoyed this video it's a pretty cool system that i made if you guys are new here please like subscribe and bye bye